I'm gonna talk like this because Sienna's the one that is wearing the mic. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Duane, and for this week's video, I'm going to be interviewing Sienna. Sienna is my husband, sister. Besides the fact that she's family now, I really look up to Sienna because. She is so incredibly strong. About four years ago, she spoke out about her psoriasis. Being your friend, following you on social media, and seeing that, I was like, oh my God, like immediately texted Craig and was like, look at Sienna, this poor girl. Like I had no idea what you're going through because to me, you just seem like, you know, a normal human being. Mm -hmm. And I think that also says something. It's like, we're all, you know, normal, but we're, everyone's going through something. And um, she was just, strong enough even in a very vulnerable state to speak out about it and from there you kind of became like an, an advocate mm -hmm. about all of this which yeah. is amazing and crazy so like so many wonderful things have come from it from you you know sharing yeah and um and yeah I just want to interview her about that so I hope that you enjoy this and come along so let's go right into it. Um, well done. I need to be recording from this camera first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. All right. You went through something that was like so terrifying for you. You were hospitalized, like after having such a crazy outbreak that you've never had something so severe like that before. Mm -hmm. And this was like coming after you were so stressed, like you were so stressed when you were in school mm -hmm. and have this happen to you, like coming from like a mental standpoint when you just like feel so low and down. And for you to, in all of this, speak about it and on social media <laughs> and open up about it. I think it took me getting to that low to realize that I had to take my health into my own hands. There was a there was a feeling in me that there was no way that I could possibly be the only one who was dealing with this. Mm -hmm. Even though that's how it seemed, that's how it felt because I went to the doctors and they didn't know what was going on. It's just there was no way that somebody out there in the world didn't understand me or didn't know how to help me. So it was kind of like a necessity, it felt like, to share and to be open about it because I was really looking for support and I was like looking for um, validation and I, and I wanted people to understand the severity of what I was going through because I kind of felt like in school it was a little bit like people didn't quite understand why I had to leave or like why I got to take my finals you know from home or what or why I was missing class or you know it was a way to seek like support and also like validation for this the severity of what I was going through and to reach out and to explain it to people and to see if there was anybody out there who could possibly relate did you know anybody that had psoriasis? I had a friend in actually in college. She didn't have psoriasis, but she had pretty severe eczema. It was almost like there was no other way that we would ever relate to each other or be friends. Like there was this one thing about us, even though we were so different as human beings, there was this one thing about us that was a common struggle. And her support just in just in her knowing what I was going through because she dealt with a little bit of it was huge for me. Like she would just do little things like if I was scratching, she would like tell me, like smack my hand and be like, stop it. And like, I never had that in my life because I never had people in my direct friends group or in my family who kind of understood it. And so she was somebody who, who I really valued her friendship. And other than that, I didn't really know anybody who had it and certainly not psoriasis. So the online community really was amazing for that purpose. Lo and behold, you share that and just let yourself be vulnerable and show your like your true self, mm -hmm. you know, to everybody. Yeah. That somewhat became a viral thing and like all these magazines just like featured you and mm -hmm. Hello Giggles did a, a little feature mm -hmm. about this whole thing. And then from there you had so many people like immediately messaging you and DMing mm -hmm. you and you created this like incredible community of people just like who feel the same way and don't feel so alone and that's like incredible are you kidding me <laughs> that is so cool i mean i think that like for me i mean i didn't expect any of that to happen and it's just been such an amazing like thing to see like human nature in that way like it was just human nature for people to just share their like love and support like there has been such a positive 
experience. Like, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> because it's just like, it's so crazy. Like, it gave me another outlook in a way. Like, all of these strangers, like all of these people who don't know me, like, care for me and, and support me in, in what I'm going through. And I never really felt that uncomfortable posting. I definitely felt strange in the beginning because I thought like, maybe like my friends don't really want to see this on their feed. Like it's not necessarily pleasant to, to look at. And so there was a little bit of feeling a little bit shy or cautious or uncomfortable in the very beginning. But as soon as I, as soon as I saw just that level of support from other people and recognized that there was such a void, there were so many people out there in the world still to this day who like don't feel supported in that and it's and feel alone and so like the fact that it just caught on and people started like sharing photos of themselves and like showing up for other people like that's a dream like that's the best thing that possibly could have happened it's been a huge like huge motivating factor for me to continue to be an advocate and share and um and help others and help other people in that way yeah and the fact that you've also been an actress through all of this, it's so incredible <laughs> because like that's a whole other thing too. It's like, has that ever been something scary? I mean, before I was open and honest about it, I could hide it. And I think that any, you know, anyone with chronic illness kind of knows like what that's like. But mm -hmm. when I got the show that I booked um, when I was, I think 16, I was still, I still had no symptoms because I was on a biologic that was actually working really well for me at the time. I never really ran into any issues with it other than like, I knew that if I stopped my medication or if I didn't use topical steroids, like it would come back. And I always lived kind of in fear of that. I still do to an extent. Um, I remember I was filming a film for two weeks out in Joshua Tree and the night before I had to leave, I got a massive flare up all over my face and my neck. And, and it's just things like that where it's like, part of what is so hard about a chronic illness is that it's out of your control. There's so many things about it that there's nothing you can do. And so what you do is you get really good at, you know, one foot in front of the other every day, like just living with it or finding ways to like manage the way you think about it, I guess. I, for a long time, did the first thing where I would just kind of ignore it and I got good at like living with it. And then now I think I'm a lot better at living with an acceptance of it, which are two very different things. There's an acceptance of it and therefore, because I'm now accepting that I'm not normal, I talk to people about it and I accept it. There's a willingness to move with it instead of hide it and fight it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very important in healing. I think that's very important in like the healing process when you're somebody who's constantly, ha you know, you have a chronic illness. It's like, what is the best way to actually live a full life while dealing with this? Mm -hmm. And I think that I've gotten a lot better at that since coming out about that. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what is so incredible about you is that you also just like keep pursuing your passions and and what makes you you like you mm -hmm. want to act and you keep pushing through <laughs> and doing it regardless of like all, any of these hurdles you could crumble somebody and mm -hmm. be like no I never want to be on camera even though it's like you know what I want to do the fact that you have the strength to like push forward and be like I don't care <laughs> you know this is me exactly yeah. what you're saying like you're not in denial you're like, mm -hmm. no, this is me and it's fine, but I'm still gonna do this because I want to. Yeah. I think that that is something that I've learned when you share in your most honest self and you're true to yourself and there's nothing left to hide. And so that's pretty liberating. That makes me move forward in the direction of my passions and my goals and my dreams because I gained a confidence from that, from being that way. And I know that I would regret never going after this thing, which is really the thing in my life that like makes me the happiest. Like acting for me allows me to understand the world better and like how I navigate my life. Every time I learn something new about acting, I feel like I learn something new about who I am as a human being and something new about the people that I choose to have in my life, my relationships, my friendships. I learn so much from it and it gives me so much joy. And I see parallels in every area of my life with acting. And so it's so ingrained in who I am. And imagine if I let psoriasis 
stop me from being that and doing that or being that person you know it's like it's such a big part of me and unfortunately you know psoriasis does that to a lot of people there's a lot of ways in which it changes who you are or aspects of your personality you get good at hiding and so like you know i for one felt like i'm a pretty social outgoing person i need that in my life i need interactions with people and friends and i when i was in college like really kept to myself. It affected the way I held myself in social, social situations. It affects how you view yourself. It affects the way that you talk to people. It affects everything. And I think that people sometimes see it as like an external thing and, and don't realize every aspect of like the ways in which it permeates your being as a, and your personality as a human being. I kind of sometimes liken it to like having, you know, if you have like a pimple or acne or something because when when you get that your natural inclination is to be like well I don't want to like everyone can see it even if I cover it up with makeup they can see it and you think like oh they're looking at it and when you're and and then when you're talking to them you're you see them look at it and you're like oh no then then you're not even talking to them anymore you're just like in your head and so that's like the closest thing I, I can sort of liken it to but on top of that it's a physical discomfort I could go on and on and on it's like can I even someday smile my full smile because my lips are like cracking on the sides you know like and that affects you it affects who who you are and what you do and how you act and what you say to people and some days I don't even want to leave my bed some days I just want to like hide from everyone and there's only so long that you can go in your life and realize that you're doing those things and try to make an active effort to not allow that thing that is happening to you and to your body to control who you are as a human being and how you show up in the world Having a chronic illness has taught me so much just about life in general. There's always going to be things that are standing between you and where you want to go and how you want to get there and what is going to help you move towards the direction of your dreams and following your passion and doing the things that you want to do is adaptability, is the ability to find it within yourself to say what is actually standing between me and those things and who am I and how do I look at myself and my life and what is my mentality and that's what I think is so important and when you have a chronic illness sometimes it's hard to recognize that it is within you to move forward and it is within you to keep pushing because it feels like so out of your control, but that's where community comes in and that's where relating to other people comes in because it's that extra push, it's that motivation outside of yourself. It's those people that care about you and that express that they care about you in your struggles and that in and of itself is, is so strong. It's such a strong motivating factor for me. It's such an amazing thing to be able to, to lean on other people when you need to and in my case now, on people who are strangers who I don't even know you know there's this big community of people who are cheering me on and I want to be that for other people and I think that everyone needs that but certainly people who have kind of the odds against them health wise and yeah I think that it's so important to like look to people who who want the best for you and who are willing to cheer you on and if what I've done online has done that in any way then I would be very happy <laughs> and that is I think the takeaway for me if, if people are watching this I think that's what I want them to know is to like find it within yourself but when that's not good enough like be able to find it in your community and, and people you surround yourself with and keep going mm -hmm. always keep going yep. yeah yay, yay! That's beautiful yay <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and um, whatever it is that you're passionate about, I totally believe in you that you can do it regardless of all the hurdles that are in your way. You're very strong and if you are someone who hasn't found their passions yet, then it's even more exciting because like just live every day by day like learning more about yourself and you'll you'll find it soon. So That is very true. Yeah. I agree. Everything. Go for it. Yeah. Go, Go for, for it. it. <laughs> Just keep going. Yeah. Just keep going. Yeah. Yay. I hope that you have an amazing rest of your week and I will see you next week. Okay. Bye bye. Did they hear me say any of this? Hello? I Hello? Speak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>